Bible studies are every Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. The lessons are as follows. From Wednesday, October the 18th, Revelation 16, 5 and 6. Again, Wednesday, October the 18th, Revelation 16, 5 and 6. October the Sunday, October the 22nd, on the for Ashton were King and now our first cancer word this month. And Saturday, October the 28th, on the support group will meet at 1030 a.m. Please time the list if you're planning on attending. Also, there's a list out there for our December uh, Christmas uh, dinner. Uh, and the last Sunday of October will be the last day to sign up for that. If we have to turn this meeting in the, the very first of November. So the last Sunday of October to sign for December, okay? October the 29th, Young Adult Services will begin at 11 a.m. Our weekly scripture reading is for the week of October the 15th, Genesis 16, 1 through 9, and 16. A week of October 15, Genesis 16, 1 through 9, and also 16. Please keep all of our sick members in your prayers. Uh, we do birthdays next week, but today, this is the time of Sina's birthday. Yeah. 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 And our scripture for the month, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yeah. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Psalms 34 and 8. Keep all the announcements in mind and all the announcements accordingly. Thank you.
Lord give us his kindness and his kingdom mercy. Yes, 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 yes. And wondrous blessings in your soul upon us. Mm -hmm. Even what he's yet to do. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Choir, I want to give you a hand. Brother. Yes. If you ever say a word. word. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. From Psalm 50 and 15 says this. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you. And you shall glorify me. That's Oh, my. 
life and they feel helpless. I want to talk over the question. Let's, what do we do when we feel helpless? Where do we go when we feel helpless? Do we go to the right source? As we do the next, we go to the right source of Red Cross, FEMA, and all those things. But do we go to the right place when we're really going through? Watch this. In my conclusion of my introduction. Be careful who you go to to get help. Be careful. Because you go to the wrong people can make your problem even worse than it was. Yes. Well, I'm going to help us out with the help of the Lord. But I want to do something. Because y'all would write frame and song and all that. Write and frame. But look at verse number 14. He says, offer to God. Thanksgiving. Here's what I want to pose to us and submit to us before I get into the detail of 15. We have got to do something prior to getting help. 14 says, 8 plus 14 says, offer to God thanksgiving. In other words, give God thanks. What does that do when you're going through a major accident? And I continue to submit to you, when we thank God, even when we're going through, it lets us know that we trust Him. Then we can thank you, Lord. When you praise Him, you give Him thanks, you offer Him thanksgiving, you must believe He's going to do something. You cannot just go and do that out of habit and because the preacher said so, because the praise said that, you got to know it and you got to believe it for yourself. I often thanksgiving to God because I believe after a while and what I'm going through will be alright. Yes, yes. Trouble don't last always. It came to pass. Yes, and so he says in 14, all forgive thanksgiving. Get offered to God. Watch this. Don't offer it to man, but offer it to God. Yes. Give God thanksgiving in the midst of what we're going through. And even as difficult as it is, I still want to thank you. Yes. I want to show forth gratitude to you, God, because even that I'm going through and going through, I believe you will bring me out. I don't know when I'm coming out. I don't know how I'm coming out. But I believe in my praise that I'm going to come out. Yeah. Yeah. And as I'm praising you, I'm serving notice on the end. I believe God will bring me out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I trust God to bring me out. So therefore, I'm going to bless who I talk to. Yeah. Can you all understand? I'm going to bless who I talk to. Yeah. I'm going to praise who I talk to. Yeah. I'm going to give credit to the who I talk to. Oh, yes. Watch the rest of verse 14. He says, no, let me hear this. Just keep right here. He says, and pay <laughs> your vows to the yeah. most high. Mm -hmm. Let's dissect this for some text. Mm -hmm. Pay means to give mm -hmm. your vows. That word vows is promise. It's dangerous, brothers and sisters, to make a promise to God and bring it. Yeah. And I'm in Bible country. Mm -hmm. it's, it's dangerous, and you trade on dangerous. We trade, we trade, we trade. Let's make it all, let's make it inclusive. We trade on dangerous ground when we don't keep our vow. Yeah. Amen. We sing a song, we should sing a song, we should sing a song. We should sing a song. I'm talking to what I'm doing now. And a whole lot of people didn't hold out. It's dangerous, again, to promise God something that you're going to hold on, hold out, endure to the end, and you're not really endure to the end. You break your promise. You break your vow. You break your commitment. He says, give. Pay your vow. 
to the most high God. Mm -hmm. Pay it to him. Be grateful. Listen to this. Hebrews 13 and 15 says this. And I'm going to be almost through. He said this. Offer to God thanksgiving. Here is a sacrifice always pleases him. A sacrifice that always pleases him. What is that? Bridge asked me. In Hebrews 13 and 15 says this. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise. Here it is. To God continually. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise continually to God. I didn't see anyone in this verse, in this text, where it says stop. It's, real, it's a continuous thing to praise him and give him glory and give him honor. It's a continuous thing. Sacrifice. Even when my spirit man don't feel like it. He says, a sacrifice of praise. When I'm down in the dumps. Oh, you, Lord. Thank you. <laughs> I got to give him a continuous praise when I'm even in the dump at the lowest state of my life. Even when I don't feel like I'm going to I got to still praise him. I got to still give him what he deserves and that is praise and worship. You now were created and ordained to praise and worship him at all times. The Bible says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continue be in my mouth. Meaning that it's an honorable thing. It means I gotta say thank you in the Lord's name of God. Praise you when I don't feel like it. Praise you. Yeah. 
going through is the corporate prayer. Yeah. 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 All right. Ooh, Jesus. Watch this. That is the fruit of our lips. Giving thanks to his name. Yes, Lord. No gift can ever take the place of simple gratitude. Can I do that? Say it again. Say it again. Thank you. No gift can ever take the place of simple gratitude. Just a simple thank you. Yes, He don't have a booty, but he does. Uh, my mother told us, she said, when somebody does something for you, say thank you. It's just a simple form of gratitude. Thank you. People don't have to do what they do, but thank you. And God doesn't have to do what he, what he does, but thank you. It's a normal son. Yes. Pay your vows. Yes. Pay your vows. All right. yes. Pay your promise. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. To the most high. How? I'm glad you asked me. Pay your vows, your promise in love. Pay your vows, your promise in worship. Pray your promise and your vow in service to God. Yes. Pay your promise and your vow and your devotion. To God. Yeah. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Yeah. Now, Hallelujah. you have got to 14. You have learned, we have learned to praise him and call upon him and give him thanks to the most high, which is God. In troubled times. But now, it's conversation time right. with God. Right. It's time to talk to God. Yes. You got instructions what to do. Yeah. In 14. Mm -hmm. All of God. Thanksgiving. All right. Now you have praised him and all the thanks given to him and paid your vows and promise to him. Now call upon him. Yeah. Talk to him. Yeah. Not that he don't know. But God, you do not know God want to hear our voice. Yeah. To hear our voice, he says in verse 15, Call upon me in the day of trouble. Call upon me in the day of your burdens. Call upon me in the day of your weary. Call upon me in the day of your misery. Call upon me in the day of your distress and your affliction. Talk to me. Oh, folks, you should sing a song. You should talk to Jesus. Yes, sir. I can talk to my mother all day long, great and fine and wonderful. Yeah. But something about calling God is yeah. different than talking to my mother. Yeah. 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 Talking to God is different than talking to my mother. Good, she has good advice, good counsel, all that stuff. But there's nothing like talking to God. Yeah. Yeah. This other talk with Jesus yeah. makes everything all right. Yeah. Yeah. God here.
Hallelujah. He loves us. Now they love to hear us. Can I tell y'all something else? I, I want to drop this note to you. Now only one does he love to hear us, but he loves to answer us. Amen. That right there ought to energize us, elevate us for prayer because he loves to hear us and he loves to answer us. Now let me put a footnote in that. He may not talk when you want him. But however, he's my own time. May not be your time frame, but it's right on time in his time frame. And you got to wait. No matter how long it takes. You and I gotta wait. Oh, bless his name. Watch this. Not only does he love to hear our prayers, he cherishes an intimate, tender relationship between his people and himself. Can I say that he cherishes? He cherishes. He relishes an intimate, intimate. I'm in the hill, he's in the me. <laughs> Tender relationship between he and his people. Yes. Wow. And our elevate people to go to prayer. Every chance we get. Watch this. He said, and I will. I like this. You come to me, you point your heart to me. I read it here from you. I read it and cherish to answer your prayers, and now I'm going to deliver you. Yes. I will deliver you, but I got to let you know he does not say in the text when. Amen. He does not say in the text how. But what he does say in the text, and I will submit to us, is that I will deliver you. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Woo! I got plans. The word will, and one of the definitions of the word will, I just blew the word, one of the word that means will is me. <laughs> I plan to. Yeah. That's right. I will deliver you. I plan to deliver you. I heard your intimate prayer and I will deliver you. I will rescue you. I will release you from what you're going through. There will be a release. Yeah. Thank you. So I said release. I just say it one more time. Release. The reason why I hate to say it like that is because the devil says you're not going to get a release. Yeah. But because you said release, you said release in the atmosphere. Yeah. You said release in the atmosphere. Yeah. And because release is in the atmosphere, God will grab the release. Yeah. Ooh, bless your name, Jesus. And not only does it mean plan. But it also means I have purpose to deliver you. Yes, it does. Purpose. I don't just deliver you just randomly. I, I got purpose. I got plans uh -huh. to release you from what you're going through. I got plans. I have ordained for a release for you to come out of what you're going through. Just wait on me. There will, there shall be a release. Yeah. I told them last Sunday afternoon. In, 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 in Job 14, 14, the latter part of verse 14, he says, wait until your change comes. Yes. And if you look at that verse in the ESV, it means wait until your release comes. I want to tell you something. The release is coming. The only way it don't come, or doesn't come, is that you lose hope and lose faith. But if you maintain your faith in God and your hope in God, that the release will come. I don't have him yet. Y'all catch what I'm saying? The meaning is not know him, it just hasn't come yet. It's going to come, but it just hasn't come yet. Yes, I've been going through this thing for years, but I still believe a release is on the way. I'm not going to stop praying. I'm not going to skip. Stop asking God because Matthew 7 and 7 says, Ask and shall be given. 
Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be open. And look at what said, it means keep on doing it until you get what you ask for. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Let me see. Let me see. He's a boy. When he's a boy, he's a man. When he's a boy, when he's a boy. Can I just say something? Oh, God just spoke to me. And when you get rid 
release God said this, your time release, and can't nobody stop your release. Uh -huh. Your breakout and your breakthrough. Yeah. Just wait for me. I'm gonna break it out. I'm gonna break it through. Yeah. Can I just tell somebody something? God said, I've seen your tears. Speak God, speak God, speak God, speak God. I see your tears. God said, I see your anguish. I see your disgust. I see your aggravation. I see and hear you even question. When I'm going to do it, but there is going to be a release. Bless your Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Thank you. 
power to you. Keep your hands up for clear reception.
each individual that's gathered here today, right now, God is crazy about you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Bring up, bring up, bring up, bring up, bring up, bring up. Thank you, God. Do that. I'm gonna do Dina at the end. We'll pray. Now, at the end, I'm gonna come pray for her and your granddaughter. We'll pray for you. What the boy is that? They sleep? Again, God, you are the restorer of health, God. 
Oh, that you had a stroke, God, a massive stroke, God. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, you stop by her room, God. And I pray, God, you will touch her with your healing hand, God. Touch her in the name of Jesus. Restore, God, her health in the name of Jesus. Move by your mighty hand and your mighty power. God bless Brother Russell's sister and family, God. Give them blessings, God. Bless the body. Bless the body, God. Move by your mighty hand. Move by your mighty power, God. Bless in the name of Jesus. Do it, God. Do it, God. Do it, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I pray, God, you bless the Gordon family, God. God bless and comfort them, God. You reach when you reach and you touch when you touch, God. God, you do as only you can do in the name of Jesus. God, I come to God, bless as you bless our president, Bishop Walter Jones. When he goes, God, to heaven, receive the God, God. I pray you go in that room. You give the doctor the wisdom and the knowledge. Guide the hands of the doctor, God. You've done it before. We are asking you to do it again, God. Do it again, God. Bring him out. Bring him through in the name of Jesus. Move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power. Touch him in Jesus' name. Oh, God. All of us in the church. I declare in the name of Jesus that you restore the health of all of our sick God. You lift the burdens of all that are going through. Lift the burden, lift the load, God. In the name of Jesus. Move by your mighty hand. And move by your mighty power. In the name of Jesus. These blessings. We ask. These blessings, God. We ask in Jesus' name for your glory and your honor. In Jesus' name we pray and we do thank you. Amen and amen. God bless you.
restore him. You want to restore him? Restore his health. Restore his health. In the name of Jesus, we believe you right now. We trust you right now for his recovery. God. In the name of Jesus, move God by your mighty hand and your mighty power. He's blessed we ask in Jesus' name. For your glory is in Jesus' name. And we do thank you. Jesus and all wise Father, again we come back to you, God, as you bless Sister Betty Warren. Touch her body with your mighty hand, from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. We declare and we decree healing and health and strength be upon her body, from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Move God by your mighty hand and your mighty in the name of Jesus, touch of God in Jesus' name. And I pray you bless Lady Weather's brother who is over in Jerusalem. We're thankful, God, that he's not in Israel. We're thankful that you have blessed him in Jerusalem. But God, we come to you, God, as your blessing to leave Jerusalem safely back to the United States. God, move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power for his safe travel back to the United States. Do it, God, for him. 
Not only him, God, but others who are trying to get back to the United States. I pray for them as well. Safe travels back to the United States. Though. And God, I want to also pray for those who lost loved ones in that war. Give those families comfort, God. You reach what no one can reach and you touch what no one can touch. God, you do as only you can do in the name of Jesus. Move by your mighty hand and your mighty power. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name. You go to Jesus, we pray and we thank you. Amen and amen. God bless you. Let's look to the Lord. 
Most gracious and almighty Father, as we leave your house and go our various ways, get in every vehicle, bind every mechanical problem, dispatch your angels round right about with your people, cover us with your blood, God. Cover us and give us traveling mercies, God. God bless us mightily. Bless us so much, God. Again, God, I pray you bless each one that's assembled here in your house. Name by name and one by one. Meet the needs of your people, God. In the name of Jesus. Now to him that's able to keep you from falling, present you faultless before the presence of the only wise God, our Savior. Be glory, master, dominion, power, both now and forever.